Right, hi. Um, this is just, I'm just gonna do a, an intro um, to the video um, that I've just put up. Follows this. Uh, basically, um, it didn't go to plan. Um, the sunset wasn't very good. Um, I've got the sun coming up just above the horizon. Um, I'm gonna put about three pictures up, maybe four. Uh, but I'm, I didn't know that there was, um, well it looks huge in the pictures, but a huge bit of dust on the sensor. And um, what looked like dust shadows, but they're not. It's the um, the filter. I, I don't know if it's the polarizing filter that I had on, or the um, long exposure filter. But it was coming up with little dots on it. When, when I mess about with the settings in Lightroom, it actually looks like water scoring. So a really bad schoolboy error of not cleaning my kit properly, the filters. Keep my camera in pristine condition. Obviously don't pay enough attention. Sorry, I'm looking at the window. I'm in my kitchen. Um, don't pay enough attention to um, filters and things. So that's a hard lesson learned. But anyway, um, yeah, just so that you're aware, um, that's basically why I didn't get that many pictures. Hopefully the ones that I did get, I've managed to salvage them to a certain degree. Um, they're not bad, they're not portfolio, but they're okay. At least you get an idea of what Haysborough's like. Um, but yeah, so uh, please enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Um, share the video if you think anybody would be interested because like I've said, this is a journey of um, I know the basics of photography, but I, I am learning. So this is just a, my journey. So if anybody's interested who's just starting in photography, wants to follow my journey, see how it compares to theirs, then pass the um, pass on the details of the video. But thanks for watching. Thanks for the continued su support. Thanks to the other vloggers that I know that watch uh, my videos, and thanks to your thank you for your support. Um, I still watch your videos, try to learn as much as I can about your vlogging styles and things like that. Not that I'm looking to copy anybody, but you know, you pick up bits and pieces from different people, try to make a Frankenstein out of it, I suppose. And maybe I look like Frankenstein, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, thanks for the continued support, everyone. Um, anyone new to the channel, thanks for coming. But yeah, so enjoy the video, take it for what it is, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, just before I go, tomorrow I'm in London. Uh, I think I've mentioned it in one of the clips on that I filmed um, yesterday, but uh, I might vlog some of it. I'm going to take my phone and my gimbal, so I'll vlog some of it, I think. Um, get some film. Sorry, excuse me, yawning. Oh, been at work catching up with my muffle this week. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, be up London. My partner will be with me, but I'm hoping to get some shots, some street photography, as well as have a look around, show a bit of London. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching um, and I will speak to you all again soon. Thank you very much. See you later. Good morning. All right, it's uh, just gone half past three. Uh, sorry about the um, darkness in the van, um, but I'm just about to set off for Happisburg. <sighs> keep calling it that. Pronounced Haysborough. Fantastic, the English language. Happisburg, Haysborough. It's uh, in Suffolk on the east coast. Anyway, I'm just about to set off. It's about it's a two-hour drive, so um, I'll keep this sort of introduction short, and um, I'll see you when I get there. Cheers. Oh, thank. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. <laughs>
Morning. Right, I've got a new gimbal, so uh, bear with me with this. So uh, that's obviously on test, but be a good idea if I uh, now it's lost me. Oh come on! There we go. And it's a lot of van. Right, this doesn't seem to want to play. And there we go, I've got some light on the subject now. Right, Haysborough. Get some pictures of the sunrise. I've got to find a way down. If I remember rightly, you've got to cheat a little bit because it's been fenced off. So, we head this way. There's a lot of stuff to photograph here. Groins and everything. I haven't been out for over a week now, so I'm quite excited to, to get down here, get something done. It's a good spot. Just got to get past the fencing. You can probably see it now. There it is. If we go down here, you can go around it. They've shut the path off. These down to the beach. I don't know why. It's a little bit misty. There's a lot of minimalist stuff to photograph on here as well. Unfortunately, the field around the lighthouse, which you can probably see behind me. Nope, there's a lighthouse. The field has been, uh, oh, they've really stopped people walking down here. I'm going to climb over the fence. <laughs> right, so I'm over the fence. It's quite misty. Right. I'm going to make my way down. It tires on its way in. I don't know how far it comes in. But I don't want to get caught. That is for sure. Usually not having wellies on. Thank you. 
Welcome, welcome back. I've uh, got my camera set up for roughly where I haven't got me set up though. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this tracking sorted out. Seems to have got it now. Looking at the wrong part of the screen now, which is really annoying. Right, yeah, I've got set up. It won't, I'm not sure it will let me turn it round. No, it won't. That's a bit silly, this app won't let me turn it. So the camera's facing the other way, but if I bring it this way, I don't know if you can see. That's what I'm focused on. If you can see the red, that's the um, focus peaking. I'm at auto focused and then changed it to manual focus, which is what it's on at the minute. So uh, hopefully we shall get some, some colours in the sky soon. So we'll see. Whoa! Tide is coming in rapido. Just got a nice shot there, I think. Getting some movement in the sea with a one third exposure. Very pastel looking. But to be honest, that's what I want. It is a, it's a morning for pastel colors with that pink in the sky. But uh, you can't see from that direction. But if I turn around, There, you can see it there. There is like a, a pink in the sky. Very pastel looking. Whoa, don't want to see my mug that close up. Hi, welcome back. Right, that doesn't seem to want to follow me. Oh, half the time I don't blame it. There we go. If I move slowly, it does. It's not the quickest to react, is it? Right, uh, I've got some pictures. Sunset, sunrise, 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 get it into your head. Sunrise wasn't as good as I thought. I got a red sun just above the horizon. Got a few pictures of that. Uh, so I'm going to stay, get some more pictures of the sea defences, groins, everything else. Um, it's a lovely day beautiful day there is so much to photograph here that I'm not gonna waste it I'm off all this week so I will be making videos this week um, Wednesday I'm looking to go up London to do some street photography I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it because I'm going up there with my partner so not only is it a day for street photography it's a day for her being a Felix Stowe girl to see some places up London sorry see some places up London she hasn't seen before but looking again at Camden Camden Market Borough Market Tower Bridge the usual places to do some street photography and some others some back streets that I know being an old London boy um, so that's Wednesday uh, rest of the week I'm not sure yet uh, yeah so uh, yeah but I'm gonna spend the rest of the day here get some more pictures uh, and see what I can get there's so much to photograph here. The, the tide is coming in at a rate of knots. And it's not high tide until half eight. And the time now is... Oh, I can't see my watch. Um, time now, well, it's got to be half six, quarter seven. So there's over an hour to go before high tide. So I I've got to be careful because I could get... Um, I could get stuck here because I'm pretty sure the tide comes right in. But no wellies on, just got me walking boots. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling because I want to get some more pictures and I will catch up with you soon. Cheers, peeps. Catch you in a bit. Bye-bye. 
Empire Welt back. Trying to get some pictures now of the wave breaks, the rocks. Getting a few. Leading line, it's coming in to the bottom left and cutting up towards the middle top right. Sky is colourless really, absolutely colourless. If I, well, you can probably see it from behind me anyway, but if I turn you around, um, that'll give you some idea of the sky. There's, there's a little bit of yellow in it and that's it. So, uh, oh, this is a nightmare, this thing. Come on, come on, come back around. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get used to this gimbal, I think. If I move slow, the tracking's pretty good. Anyway, tide is rushing in. I'm gonna walk down a bit further now. I'll take you with me. There might be something here. Yeah, I think I'll find something here. There we go. Didn't mean that. Sorry. Hard to see if this is level, although there's no sky in it. Give that a go. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, what kind of competition that's going to be. But we'll see. It's on about a six second delay with um, noise reduction after. I'm going to try another one. I must admit, I'm struggling. I'm a bit worried about the tide coming in, that's why. I'm definitely gonna head back. There we go. After this picture, there it is. Whoa. Something's blown out, it's a reflection of the sun on the sea. It's not that great a picture anyway. No, I am definitely gonna head back because the tide. The tide, excuse me, the tide's lapping at my feet now. If you just saw my camera move, that's because the uh, the panning plate is loose. Tighten it up. Right, welcome back. Uh, sat in my van. 
Yeah, sat in my van, charged a few things up. I was waiting to get back out, but now my gimbal seems to be playing up again. Do you know what? I've got a feeling this is definitely going to go back. The AI is not switching on. We'll have a look at it later. That's it, it's face tracking now. Yeah, so I'm back on and the tide is slowly going out. I've got some pictures. I've got some uh, long exposures over the rocks, but I'm waiting for the tide to go further out. Because further down, I want to walk down to the bottom where all the groins are. Now I will turn around slowly. There we go. You might be able to see them all down there. I don't know if you can actually. You might be able to. But yes, yeah, so I want to go down there and get some pictures of the groins. I want to get some uh, minimalist fine art ones if I can, pastel colours, black and white. Uh, I'm sorry about this sun. It's just this gimbal's playing up. Yeah, so uh, I'm just waiting now. It's just a waiting game. Mind you, it's uh, nice scenery to be waiting in. But I, I went through the pictures I've got earlier. I think there's a couple of good ones in there. I won't know until I get home. I've either put some up already or I will put them up, like I said at the end, on a slideshow. That's pro probably what I'll do, actually, with a bit of writing under them. Other than that, like I said, it's just a waiting game now. Welcome back. I found uh, another composition. Well, I found a few actually. But my battery's running low on the phone, so I didn't want to use it too much. Plus, I've recorded quite a bit of footage this morning. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's, um, it's like a double groin, and I'm photographing in portrait right down the middle. I think it's definitely a portrait shot, because you've got too much in the way otherwise. Plus I wanted to get more of the sky in, but uh, I'm shooting, what am I shooting? Right, 15 second delay, F16, and ISO 64. So I'm going to take another one, there we go, Let's see what that one comes out like. First one seemed okay. You should be able to, hopefully, nah, can't, it's behind my camera, I don't want to get in the shot, um, I'll spin it around and show you in a sec, but yeah, so it's been quite a per an eventful day, it's been quite a productive day, I think I've got some good shots, I don't know if there's any portfolio in there, I doubt it very much, but uh, it is a fantastic place to shoot. I've had to waste a bit of time to get past the point down there behind me. You can just see where the, where, if I move, yeah, look, where the uh, the cliff sort of, hang on, let's move you around, where the cliff sort of ends, the water was in further there because obviously the shape of the coast. So I had to wait for it to go out and where I'm situated now, a fella just come up to me and said that in the other direction, in front of me, um, the waves were hitting the sea defences and shooting 30 foot into the, into the air. I had some down there that were doing about 10 foot, so I've missed them now because the tide's going out, but that's a shame. But it just goes to show that if you walk along this shoreline, what you can get. There's so much here. Happisburg, H-A-P-P-I-S-B-U-R-G, pronounced unbelievably Haysborough, only in Britain. Honestly, only, well, in fact, only in England, I think. I don't get it. Uh, but yeah, if I um, if I sort of come this way, nah, it won't let you see my car. It doesn't matter anyway. I think you get the idea. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to take another one. Again, same settings. I'm just gonna pull out a bit more and get a bit more of it with the beach. If 
focus doesn't work. There we go. Just want to check the focus. Put it on manual focus and check. Yeah, focus peaking is telling me that I've got what I want in focus. From front to back, back to front, whatever. Not bad, I just think it needs centering a bit more. I think it's just slightly out. for this wave to come in, then I'm going to take another one. It's a bit too far out. Just waiting for a bigger wave to fill up the foreground a bit more. Yeah, that's about right. It, it looked odd because one side of the posts, weirdly, are higher than the other at this back end anyway. In fact, on, on the left hand side, they're higher than the right, which is a bit strange. Got a marker post right down the end, dead center with a bloody seagull sitting on it. I always clone that out. I might just zoom in a bit more. Get rid of uh, a bit more of this foreground. Need to go back onto autofocus though. I don't trust it when it says that I'm still in focus or manual. Not after I've moved it. Focused. Big wave coming in, take your shot. Yeah, like I said, it's been an enjoyable day. Happiesburg. Let's see if there's a zoom. Ooh, no, don't zoom me in. My focus. I've just realised that there's two different sides. I've got to get used to this. The app. It's not the, the gimbal so much, it's the app. I'm getting used to that. Yeah, that's nice. I'm happy with that. Happy, happy. Switch your camera off, battery's going slow. Right, I'm going to switch this off now. I'm going to take all back if I can find anything else, and I will catch up with you in the car. I really appreciate anybody that has come back to watch this video, because it's been over a week since the last one, which wasn't very good anyway. What was in my bag was a bit pants. My pants weren't in my bag, but you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, I, I really appreciate you coming back. Um, anybody new, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe if you want to see more. But yeah, I'd appreciate anyone that gives a thumbs up. And um, I'll catch you a bit later. Cheers, people. See you later.